How's it going, everybody? Today, I will be doing a review of my unbiased firearm reviews for the part two of National Firearm Day for the uh, Simplex addressable True Alert devices, including the True Alert ESs. So what I have here is my Simplex 4906-9206, my 4906-9207, which is the ceiling mount version of this, but it's still in production, whereas that is discontinued. My 49AV WWF, my 49AV APPLW, my 4903-9459, my as well as its successor, well, not the direct successor, it's the direct the white version is the direct successor to that, the 49, which this would be the 4906-9228 and my Truler ES speaker strobe. So, to begin with is, since, to start off, I'm going to say, since I've already reviewed my, my um, free-running Trulerts, which this is one of them, which the SmartSync ones do the exact opposite, Whereas these do much worse, completely worse than than the smart sync. So what is, and the reason why I say that is because they're addressable. Like I said, they're addressable. So that means so that means that they need addressable signaling in order to work correctly. In order to in order to work, as they don't work on these. Because the addressable line will prevent the power from running to the device. So, if you actually... So, a lot, the Truler ES, the, the 4906, my Truler ES is in my 34906, my three Truler ES is in 34906 Trulerts that are addressable. They are multi-candela, as you see. This one has a candela selection switch. Is that yellow jumper right there. Um... It'll show you, it'll actually be, those will, is how you select your candela. So, so your typical candela settings are 15, 30, 75, 110 for the 4906 Trulers plus the Amber Lens models, which are also on the Amber Lens models plus the FACP feature, which is standard on all addressable Truler devices, which I could definitely see why, because that's how they can get coded by the panel thanks to the addressable line. Um, but however, it's only a clear, those candela settings are only for clear lens as these, am, these two amber lens models for mass notification would be degraded by about 10% ish. If not. So, um, as you can see, one thing about the true alert addressable devices, what makes you can see, I don't know if you could see that correctly, but right there, there's a set of eight dip switches. It is one through eight, and it follow and and these true alert devices it's, a, it's simple, right? Absolutely not. They follow binary code, but with using by using DMX dip or any of those apps, those those uh binary code dip switch calculators. It'll definitely help you along the way. So, not to mention with, not to mention, one of the things I like about them is um, is that is the self test feature, where you could just test each individual device without having to pull a pole station and walk around the entire building, which helps minimize disruptions or make it a self test at a scheduled time or do it automatically whenever it's through the panel or at a scheduled time. End of the day, minimizing disruptions plus increasing safety, which is a good, which I, which is something I love about these devices. But however, one of the things that the community, that these are infamously known for by the community, or should I say the, the fire alarm fandom, and, and it's, a, it's some that is not liked about, uh, uh, which is some that is not liked about, about these devices is that because they're addressable since, since the addressable line prevents power from going into the, uh, circuitry that handicaps your ability to use these devices completely by more than completely slash more than double so as you see when you put power to it it's not going to work they will not work on batteries whereas the whereas the best way to make them run is through the compatible controllers i'm not going to say a high-end 
addressable panel, simplex addressable panel, because that's not specific enough. I'm going to say compatible simplex controller. This Truler ES and this Truler ES and these for in the 4906 True Alerts will work on IDNAC and TrueNAC. This will only work on TrueNAC. This will only work on IDNAC. If I'm not mistaking, specific IDNAC panels like the 4100 ES with the EPS and EPS Plus power supplies. But however, I can make some use out of the speaker by just unplugging those terminal, those jumper wires, make it run somewhat de facto conventionally. It, the speaker wise, because if you have those plugged in, the addressable line is going to stop the power from the amplifier. So that's one hack that you could use to make this run somewhat de facto conventionally. Plus, I found out with the Truler ES is that horn strobes, they have a legacy NAC mode. So and if you put power to it, it with legacy NAC mode on, whereas the manual says it must be shut off at all times for for correct op, which I assume is for correct operation. When you put power to it, it's going to sound the, it's not going to sound it. The pulling LED will flash and how I forgot to mention the LED, all addressable truller devices have an LED like addressable pull stations do. And every time it pulls, it com- means it's communicating with the panel. But however, it'll make it blink, which I think it's telling, it's a way of telling you, Hey, I can't work on batteries, buddy. So, um, yeah, I have them set to on just because why not? Because out of further curiosity, but however, they do support a multiple range of Candela, particularly the 4906s and the Truler ESs where this, since this is a 4903, it's a fixed 15 Candela. This has a fixed 15 Candela strobe, which would be, which the Candela rating would either be indicated by a, a Candela sticker, like what I have or a colored shape. Indicating the candela. So, um, so, uh, yeah, the self test feature is definitely something I love about these devices because of safety issues, especially how you can manually test by putting a magnet onto the test location and it'll sound the device for a few seconds. So, um, yeah, but yeah, and you can see the the forty nine oh six ninety two twenty eight is in the forty nine oh three ninety four um fifty nine are ceiling mount true alerts, including the forty nine oh six ninety two oh seven, which these two are still in production, whereas this and this are not are no longer in production. But however, um, if I were to give them a good score, I would give them a. F- but how? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The Truler ES is particularly the 49AV and 49SV and 49VO APPLWs models, including the 5900 series that have the APPLW designation, which are only appliance only. They, uh, they, uh, they, um, they have customizability issue. Excuse me. They have customized. They have customizability customizability potential. So it means you could use whatever color or lens and buy a lens. Or the, but you have to buy the mounting plate separately and use for whatever application you throw at it. Like what I have since I'm using the Truler ES speaker strobe and the Truler ES and this Truler ES horn strobe, the 49 AVA PPLW as a mass notification device. So, but however, since they rely on addressable signaling, I'm going to give them a 58 out of 100. I'm not going to give them a righteous score out of 100 on the user friendliness category since the since, because of the addressable line. So therefore, they are not user friendly and I don't recommend these for any beginner collectors. So, uh, but however, with so they but they do work for whatever. But the Truler ESs, the for particularly the ones with the APPLW designation on the model numbers will work for whatever application you throw at it. But since they rely on addressable signaling protocols, I'm not going to give them a righteous score out of 100. That's why I give them a 58 out of 100. And then, and um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Please rate. And, and if you can subscribe if you want to, uh, you're not obligated to do so. If you if you don't like the video, that's fine. You don't have to like it. But if you do like like yeah you get the idea if you do like it that's up to you but however um yeah 
So, yeah. So, thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Ciao.